Hi Revivers, Dr. Lin here at Rehab and Revive Physical Therapy. We're excited to have you back on our channel for this new episode to help your middle back or upper back because you've been sitting around at home at, during this COVID time in poor postures and hurting it. You might be rubbing that between your shoulder blade symptoms with the lacrosse ball, but there's a better exercise coming up. So, many of you are trapped at home and working in your poor workstation and experiencing crazy symptoms in your upper spine. Sometimes you're feeling a stiffness, an inability to straighten up or rotate, difficulty breathing, a knot in the back of your shoulder blades. These are symptoms that are common with that poor posture. But what people don't realize is that our upper spine and our rib cage are really meant for rotation. And this exercise, the upper corkscrew, is meant to promote that. It's not really meant for you're trying to get over a foam roll and pop that or a lacrosse ball and pop that. That's not good for you, nor is it safe at all. So stay tuned for a safer and better exercise. So let's do a quick test. So you might notice from one side that it should be a nice pure line that you can rotate. On the other end, when I go and do the right arm push-up, you'll see that my upper spine starts drifting, my lower back seems flat or stiff, and it doesn't seem like a straight line. That's the side I need to work on and improve. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to create small rotations within that thoracic spine. Remember that upper spine's job is actually meant more for rotation. So we want to do it one, one segment at a time. And we're just trying to get that to churn. And we're, you don't continue to do that push-up part until it frees up. So what we're trying to do is a one-arm push-up. And it's going to help that rotation. And I'm trying to rotate this way, keeping my pelvis down and rotating it and easy into it. If it's painful, don't force it. You don't need a crazy stretch. Your body and your spine will let go. It's really cool what happens. So today I have a lower back pain. Uh, woke up with it. I was training my dog Delta a little bit and uh, strained it a little bit. So we'll see if this helps out and I hope it does. So what we're trying to do, what we're trying to do is, is just set your elbows on here. This one is down. And all I'm trying to do is just ease into it and a little bit at a time. If you want to keep your face down because you're, it's hard holding up your neck, that's okay too. You can do that. But the whole goal is to end up here. And if I stuck a skewer like a kebab through my spine, I should be rotating around that access point. And you'll see that from a different angle. And so what I want to do is just slowly introduce rotation back into my mid spine and my thorax. And there we go, it's starting to open up. I can get a little bit. Now for those of you really strong, then you can get up on your elbows or a extended elbow. Back down. And then you do it for the other side. There you go. So you can see how a stiff lower back, which is what I've been experiencing and mentioned, can really affect the rotation. And so it's all related, it's one giant spine. This exercise can help improve some lower back pain, also can help improve some neck pain. It's all one spine, and that's the cool thing. 
So make sure you check with your healthcare professional that this is the right exercise for you. If you like what we're doing, please hit the like button. It's really promoting us and helping our channel grow. Also, those of you who haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. If you like what we're doing and want to get new updates of new exercises that we're putting out there for your do it yourself series, that's what this channel is all about. We really could use your help. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it below and let us know if this exercise helped you. It's really cool because I'm always inventing new exercises. So sometimes I don't know it's not a great exercise and I could always use your feedback on my stage presence. So I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.